Okay, so next set of problems, well actually one, next problem we're going to take a look at. Two carts with masses 4.1 kilogram and 3.5 kilogram move towards each other on a frictionless track with speeds of 5.4 meters per second and 4.9 meters per second respectively. The carts stick together after colliding head on. Find their final speed. Okay. One of the reasons why I set this up is this one is one where you have to pay attention to the wording because it's written in a very real world way, which is great because this is the way normal people would talk. Instead of saying one is moving in the positive direction and the other is moving in the negative direction, they tell us that they're moving head on towards each other. Let's see if I continue to draw cars backwards terribly. Eh, that's not bad, but it could be better. Anyway, so I've got a red car and a blue car here. Let's say that the red car is the one moving to the right and the blue car is the one moving to the left. We just know that they're both headed towards each other. They say, let's see, the mass of the first car, we'll call that the red one, is 4.1 kilograms. And the mass of the blue car is 3.5 kilograms. Then they say they're moving towards each other with speeds 5.4 meters per second. So my initial velocity is 5.4 meters per second for the red car. And 4.9 meters per second for the blue car. They say respectively. Whenever you see the word respectively, that means the order that the first set was given to you, that's the same order for the second set. Now here's the tricky part, because they say 5.4 and 4.9, but the blue car is moving to the left. 4.9 meters per second. Negative when we take into account direction, which is important. Now, we could have reversed these two if we wanted, because we could say to the left is positive. This could be negative 5.4, and this could be positive 4.9. But what we do need to know is, because they're headed towards one another, one of those needs to be negative, and one of them needs to be positive. Otherwise, they're not going towards each other. Okay. The carts stick together after colliding head on. So these two carts slam into each other, and they stick together. Now, they say that this is on a frictionless track. In fact, this would be a lot like some of the lab that we did in class with the little low friction carts, except they would stick together. So think of the Velcro part of it. Okay. Um, if we have, and we've seen this a few times, we can set up a pretty good system of our two carts. And especially with no friction, we shouldn't have any significant external forces that are going to change my momentum, and therefore the momentum will be conserved. So, my initial momentum will be equal to my final momentum. All right. Well, the initial momentum will be the momentum of the red car plus the momentum of the blue car. So, in this case, I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, I'll be able to see that. 4.1 kilograms. I'm going to leave the units off. We've seen a few of these now. Times 5.4 meters per second. That's going to be my momentum for the red car. Plus, add in the momentum of the other one which is 3.5 kilograms times my velocity, negative 4.9 meters per second. Negative because it's moving to the left. Over on the end, we know that they stick together, so we're actually going to end up with 4.1 plus 3.5. That'll be 7.6 kilograms will be the mass of the combined cars. That's what we've been looking at in class. You can still treat it as the mass of 4.1 and the mass of 3.5, but they will both have the same final velocity because they are stuck together. And if there are no significant external forces, which the way we've set things up, our system does not have any, then the momentum will be conserved. So I can go through. I want to find my final velocity, so I need to solve these. Let's find our total initial velocity. So I'm going to do... 4.1 times 5.4, and I'm going to add that to negative 4.9, so 3.5 times negative 4.9. Okay, if I have done this correctly, hopefully order of operations is working fine, I end up with 4.99 kilogram meter per second. That's right. See. 
Yep, looks good. I don't know what this is. Um, no, do not reboot. All right. This is what I started with. It must be equal to what I end with if my momentum is conserved. This is the momentum. Conserved means what you start with, you end with. And so, since we have no significant external forces, we can now solve for our final velocity. We take 4.99 divided by 7.6, and we find that the final velocity will be equal to 0 0.657 meters per second. And here's one of the important things. We kept track of our directions here. We may not have been able to predict which way it was moving beforehand, but this is a positive number, and therefore, the whole mass will be moving to the right the way that I've drawn it. Now, I know that there are multiple variations on this. It's entirely possible that yours might have more initial momentum moving to the left, so you might end up with a negative number. If you end up with a negative number, that's perfectly fine. It's telling you that the whole mass is going to move to the left. All right, let's double check our answer. For me, I'm getting positive 0 0.6565. So yeah, 0 0.657. This is the correct answer.